In the last episode, we went from a sketch to a pixel rendition of an easel that will serve as a new drawing editor in Pixel Art Academy. The next step is to cut the image into pieces and reassemble them in game using HTML and CSS. Websites have come a long way from embellished text documents to fully fledged graphical user interfaces. Decorative options first serve to design sequential content. With more intricate layouts popularized with Web 2.0, cascading style sheets became a necessary component. CSS2 introduced relative, absolute, and fixed positioning in 1998, and it could be used to construct user interfaces more akin to software, paving the way for web applications to coexist along traditional web articles. Pixel Art Academy is such a web app, with most of its UI laid out with HTML and CSS, apart from some use of Canvas and WebGL. Absolute positioning provides essentially the same layout functionality as traditional software or game UI libraries. If you start with an element that covers the whole UI space, you can position its child elements relative to the bounds of the parent with a multitude of absolute and relative units. In episode 2 on skeuomorphic UI, I talked about how I use RAM units to represent scaled pixels in my design. I also use percentages, for example, 50% to place the layout origin at the center of the Pixel Boy screen, or viewport units, which are percentages of the whole browser viewport, to move the easel frame completely off screen at the start. Ultimately, all units get transformed into pixels, and I can use the calc function to apply any math needed to combine them. The design is split into elements that need to be moved or toggled on and off. The frame is separated into a bottom and a top part so that I can remove the top when viewing the canvas in the zoomed in mode. With a hierarchy of elements, I can represent how moving parts animate relative to each other. The adjustable mast moves up and down relative to the base, and the top canvas holder relative to the mast. Offsets can be applied on special states, such as when hovering over a tool, and I use opacity changes to make elements fade as they appear and disappear. The final important property is the Z-index, which moves elements on the Z-axis in and out of the screen, essentially sorting the elements in the desired order. I make it correspond to the layer order in my GIMP file, but it's important to carefully plan this since each positioned element creates its own sorting context. I'm quite pedantic when it comes to the graphical user interface of Pixel Boy, and I spend a decent amount of time polishing transitions and responsive behaviors. I want it to be satisfying just interacting with the UI, and it brings me a lot of joy when I see it come alive like this.